All right, you guys, welcome back to the Fuzzy Duck Show. We're here with my man. I haven't seen my brother in a long time. Over there working hard on the day shift now. I'm on days. Just got off a cruise. Really? Well, I'd say just got off. It was in June. You pulled, all, pulled over a lot of people and stuff today? No. Make anybody mad? Uh, probably. <laughs> <laughs> what time do you go in now? Six. Six? Still six to six. Six to six, yeah. Man, I got two public servants right here. And this guy right here, yeah, Thomas, on? Thomas Heath, everybody, Tommy, yeah, Tommy. Oh man, <laughs> that 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 is a recent development. It's been in, in the matter of a year. My name has gone from Thomas to Tommy. Well, see, my thing is, I would be surprised it's not like Tom. You know, like anybody yeah. goes by like Thomas. Yeah. Yeah. You just call him Tom. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I, Tommy I, boy. I, I really, Tommy yeah, boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's what I've been trying to avoid. Like and like, for the longest time, because, you know, I've grown up around here on the river, they're like, Tommy down by the river. So, like, you're missing <laughs> two Chris Farley uh, tropes together. And I'm like, that like, hey, I, I mean, Benji's got the van outside. <laughs> A van, the van down by the river. river. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> These kids, you know, have uh, y'all seen that meme about how. That was a funny thing. I remember watching Saturday Night Live when I was a kid, like that bit and everything. Oh, yeah. And then now it's actually a real thing. Like, people actually want to live in a van down by the yeah. river now. You see the way people, some people trick these vans out now? Yeah. yeah. There's a teacher, I can't remember. I think she's in uh, maybe Lincoln County. I, but she has, like, her own, she lives in her own bus and everything and tricked it out and everything. Like, it's super, it's super cool that people do that and stuff. Yeah. But. You so you lived here your whole life down at Hall's Mill then, right? Yeah, you all guys have lived in the same house over there. Well, no, uh, we recently built that house up. I grew up over on Lower Hall's Mill Road. Um, oh, I got you. Okay, for, for the vast majority of my life, so just a different access of it. And then we recently moved uh, down there after we constructed that house. But that that land I've always considered home. So cool. And you know, you do you know, like I said, we're at Lucky Duck and Halls Mill Market, and it's really cool out here. And at Lucky Duck, one of the things is this guy does, everybody calls him the guitar man because he'll go out on the gravel bar. Oh, okay. And, yeah, he goes out on the gravel bar, and well, I, you explain this, uh, and he plays for people, so uh, all the people that come by. So, you know, like they, they always said, you know, uh, pedal faster, I hear banjos, but typically when you hear a guitar, you kind of stop. Yeah. Um, so it was one day... It was a weekend where I was supposed to play a show, and um, they just kind of, they were like, well, we're going to cut the singer-songwriters out of it. And I was like, cool, I'm, I'm glad you told me that the week of, uh, so I couldn't go get anything else booked. So I was like, you know what, I'm going to go down to the gravel bar, and I'm going to play for people. I've been wanting to do it for a while. Um, I'm going to go play for people, just see what happens. And then, you know, I ended up having a little bit of a crowd at one point, and I was just like, you know... Uh, I take requests, just not all of them seriously. <laughs> the worst I could say is no, I don't know it. Um, and so just went down there, and, and they had a ball uh, with it. And there were some people that floated down there this past week, and they stopped for a second. And they were like, uh, what did they ask for? They asked for some CCR, and I played it for them. Um, really? So, yeah. What about with people who you don't even ever heard? Have you never heard the song? Do you just, like, keep playing or sound like, oh, yeah, I kind of can. You just kind of strum something up what for it. What do you it. mean? Like, you know, you kind of just make it up as you go playing it. Um. Can yeah. you like listen to it? Can you read music, or is it always do you just no. play it by ear? So how did you start playing music? So I started playing music, and you know, uh, I started playing music because my dad, uh, he played guitar all the time around the house, and um, that was a big influence on me because he'd he'd be playing around the house, and I was just always surrounded by music. And then I, uh, one day I just kind of decided I was like, I think I might like to do that, and uh, and so I did. Um, but I started out. Um, started out with an electric guitar and he always played an acoustic mm. and we went up to the old record shop in Shelbyville uh which is different now I, I'm not entirely sure what it is it's changed hands a couple of times and uh Mr. Davis was up there and my dad was tr dead set on trying to get me to play an acoustic guitar and he asked Mr. Davis he said well you know what should I do my son wants to play an electric and I, um, I want him to play an acoustic and he said well you better buy him an electric because if he's gonna if he's gonna learn he's gonna want to learn on his terms um, and so for my, I think, either 13th or 14th birthday, I got an electric guitar. And then about two years later, I switched over to acoustic. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. I've always heard that you play, you know, you play acoustic first and then you go to the electric guitar. Um, I don't know. Um, I think playing the electric for me, it was kind of, um, and I'm not claiming to be a great guitarist or anything like that. I'm, I'm, I'm decent at best. Um, 
But for me, it was easy because, you know, you don't have all that restraint. And also, it was great for my parents because if I wasn't plugged up to the amp, they couldn't hear anything. Yeah, so, true. So. Strings are easier, too. Right, yeah. They, they just tend to bend a yeah, little bit better. Yeah, they're not as thick. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wish That's I knew what you were talking about. <laughs> yeah, <it's> not, <laughs> I played for a couple years. I played for a couple years when I was in middle school and high school. Yeah, no, I tried it one time. You really? Yeah. All my friends played, but I, I I couldn't figure it out. I picked up piano when I was in college, oh, yeah. and I wish I would have started. That would have been that was really fun. Of course, I didn't follow up with any of them, but that was playing the piano was really fun. But guitar, yeah, guitar was you know started out country and then rock and roll, yeah. and then I did blues. You know that was the last thing mm-hmm. I really worked on, and then after that I was like, okay, I'm done. Yeah. Yeah. I'd always in like it. had interest in it, but like. I, I couldn't read music to save my life, and I couldn't play. I always listened to Toshi play. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah Toshi. No. Yeah, that was cool. I, I just couldn't do it. Yeah. I had trouble playing Guitar Hero. It's, I was better, I was better it, on the it, drums it, at rock bands. So. <laughs> yeah. yeah. They don't make games like that anymore. No. They, no that, those games look, were those the, the golden, highlight, and, like, the kids miss out on that stuff. The golden days back then. I mean, like, schools would have whole entire events, like, hey, yeah. we're having a rock band or guitar here. Yeah, it was a fundraiser. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was literally, it was like little, literally a fundraiser. At Bonnaroo one year, they had this gigantic tent set up just for, like, rock band where you could dress up and have your own little rock <laughs> oh, band. Oh, man, been, like, that's, yeah, cool, that's cool, dude. Yeah. yeah. That's cool. That was shoot it was like 08 09 back back when that was popular i mean i really bet today if you were to set something up like that um you would have you know like us guys go and do it and then some of the younger people would be kind of and i don't don't know why i'm saying younger people but um (laughs) like what kind of younger people are at at bonnaroo but um they're they're going up there and and seeing these guys play that and they're either going to think that's really dumb or that's actually kind of cool we uh we bought guitar hero for the wii u like five or six years ago, mm-hmm. and it just wasn't the same. Oh no! Like it was it, so yeah. different. No. Yeah. Like, the, 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 yeah, I haven't. When it was popular, that's the only time I played yeah. it, and then after that, I was done with it, like for sure. Which I always played it backwards. It's a weird thing. So I played guitar like this. And Are you left-handed? No. Oh. But I played Guitar Hero like this, and I don't know why. It just hmm. that. It just I wanted to hold the controller like that, so I did, and I didn't even lefty flip it or anything like. It stayed the same, and I just played it backwards. So I think I played it on like medium at most. Like I'd sit here and watch people play it on like expert, and they're just like, I'm just oh, like, there were some crazy people. Yeah, I'm like, man, you just really need to pick up a guitar yeah. and just play it. You know what I'm saying? You, that's yep. that's how that was. I like the microphone. Yeah. It made me sound like, you know, when you hit those notes, like you were actually a good singer. Yeah. That's probably the most confidence I, I ever how, had uh, in my life. I, mean, that's <clears throat> playing rock, I was playing rock band at Tyree's house. On the drums. Oh, brother Tyree. And singing. Oh, yeah. That's how, that's oh, the first time I met Kayla. You... Oh, no, for real. For real. Your oh, wife. Oh, yeah, okay. my wife. She seen me, she seen me, you know, tearing, <laughs> she up, tearing, tearing up the drums. Those drums yeah. And she just knew right then. She just then. knew. Dang, if 2008 me knew how Yeah. To... <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Man. That's what's up. Man, of course so, it took like a whole year, but you know whatever. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, I mean, that was back when you were skater, Tyler. Though, right? Weren't you like a skater? Kinda, skate? yeah. Kinda. I did. I did that for a while in high school. Yeah, emo or something like that. No. Were you ever <laughs> emo? No. <laughs> I was emo for a little bit. There's a running joke at eighth, work that I was. So. Eighth, eighth grade. Oh, there's a running joke. <laughs> yeah. That man, was have you seen the pictures, man? <laughs> Somebody put a picture of you out. When you were really... That was me. Oh, it was? Yes, uh, oh, I just saw, I saw the bitch. <laughs> I, didn't know. No, I, didn't, no, no. I didn't even know who that it was. That was seventh though. grade. <sighs> okay, I'm looking at this picture. Okay. Yeah, I'm it was gonna, seventh I'm grade. Gonna, hang on, I'm going to show up. I'm going to show up what you look like. I was looking fresh. <laughs> I wonder, Everybody I wonder, look up Tyler Walls right yeah. now on Facebook. I, I wonder <laughs> how well that's going to compare to the kids I teach now. Oh, yeah, so I was have my white tee on, my blue jeans, my K-Swiss, and my... Sw- this is like 2002... So this was when LeBron James just got drafted by the Cavaliers. I had this, me and my buddy Jemai had these matching sweet LeBron James <laughs> on. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. Okay. Look at that, dude. Oh, Look at that guy. dear. <laughs> <laughs> the whitest kid you'll ever meet. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Dude, look at that, man. What are those, some K-Swiss you wearing? Yeah. Oh, yeah. man, yeah. Those are the bomb. <laughs> those are the bomb. Man, the I seventh, always wanted some K-Swiss, That was seventh man. grade. <laughs> North Middle School. Mm. 
Man, I'm and the sh- backdrop too. You don't see backdrops like that anymore. <laughs> <laughs> they're just they're just like one little stand. Oh yeah. Oh Tyler, man, there was something else on here that was hilarious. I was on your on your page. Wanted to There's no telling. Oh yeah, the Donnie Baker. Oh yeah. <laughs> What's the Donnie? Yeah, Donnie Baker. What is he? Uh, a comedian? Yeah, no, I tagged Zach in something. And Donnie liked it, so I was like, you know what? Pretty much makes me and Donnie like best friends now. Yeah, Donnie Baker's yeah. A comedian. Okay, Nashville, ten- uh, t- 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 that's crazy. What? Well, I, I don't. I'm not even gonna ask. What it was? Though. Oh no no no! Oh, so it was something. Yeah, so I yeah yeah. Was... So I clicked on it. I immediately regretted it because Kayla wasn't in the room. Uh. Thank God. <laughs> but Madison was. <laughs> And she was too busy watching TV to, because once it said what it said, I was like, crap, crap, crap. I had to like try to get rid of it on my phone, but yeah, I have to let you listen to. Dude, it. look <laughs> at you, man, being a star. Well, he's got 1.3 million followers, mm-hmm. and he ta- and he liked your I he just, liked he your liked post, that, man. Yeah. That's awesome. I mean, I can you could say we're best friends. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> we've been brothers. We've been brothers. Yeah. And Thomas, so man, you uh, this last two weeks man has been pretty pretty intense for you especially with the teaching and what year is this for you it did it's become such a blur i've started i started teaching in january of 2020 and then i I started i started getting into my groove and i was like all right i got this like i started in the middle of the year that's already a rough patch um Mm. and i started getting into my groove you know the kids were like all right we get mr heath now and then um i was like it'll be a while before you know like the COVID stuff started happening yeah so you were in it you were getting in it when all that was going down Uh yeah oh my god it was a it was an interesting um interesting time in my life there was a lot of things that i had planned that just kind of fell apart but i think that's good because i've been able to construct a whole lot stronger foundation with those with those pieces uh and everything so but, but, yeah, I started teaching in January of 2020, and then we had the whole entire, like, you know, are we going to go back? Are we going to shut down? What happened? Then we ended up shutting down. Um, and then 2021 came in strong, feeling great about it. And then this year. Um, so it's kind of like a two-and-a-half, three-year kind of deal. Um, so, Dude, how you feeling about this year? Oh, I feel great about it. I really do. Um, like, there's a lot of things that I consider – I wouldn't say normal because my normal was chaos whenever I jumped in there, you know. Um, so I would consider, like, luxurious, I guess. Um, so I'm happy to see that, and the kids are happy to be there. Uh, they, they still enjoy my class, which is great because, you know, you, you were in my classroom. Um, I try to set up an environment where it's good for them to learn and they feel comfortable and everything. So. Man, this guy's got a really nice classroom. Like really nice. Oh, it looks neat. like a dumpster fire right now. It's got <laughs> LED lights around the marker board and everything <laughs> like that, man. It looks really dude, you've done a good job with it. It yep. looks really good. Yeah, I try to fix it up. Smells good too. <laughs> yeah, I got that. Your room over. smells the best out of all the rooms that I was you know, just walking by like the doors were open and everything, of course, and I just walked in yours, I was like, Damn I was like, Man, this smells good. Yeah, that <laughs> little wax warmer does wonders, man. That's it, crazy, it, man. Then that guy that come in there and just threw all those books on your I like floor, the, yeah. Mm, <laughs> <laughs> so no, I so took good. it was so Steph's room was over there and um, she had let's see what was it I'm trying to think uh, she's a science teacher so she had all these dictionaries and everything and I'm like what what are you doing with all these dictionaries you don't need you know you don't need all these dictionaries and I was like man I just need to dump them somewhere and her, his room is like two rooms down and I was like. Thomas's room. I'm just gonna go dump them in <laughs> Thomas's room. <laughs> and, you know, and you, you needed them, man. Oh yeah, it, it came in handy for an activity I had. But I walk into our room and I'm like, oh, admin dropped me off some dictionaries. Great. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what I wanted from him. Uh, I was like, great, <laughs> more books. What is it like on the first day of te- you know every year, like the beginning, the first day, the first year? So for me it's it's a little intimidating because you have all these little eyes looking at you and i'm like <laughs> all right they're nervous they're giving me their best you know like their sunday best right now um and you know like i, I got to get to know them because i'm horrible with names but i'm great with faces like i'll say hi to you but i may have forgotten your name um so now i got to learn all these kids names and everything um and it's exciting you know you're, you're laying down your ground you're getting to know them a little bit kid around a little bit try, try to build some rapport uh, in the beginning, um, and really get to know them. So that that's kind of the first day for me. Is it hard? Is it so? As English though, is that is that hard? Is that all you've? 
you know, taught. I'm not saying all you taught because I know English is a really hard. That's the really hard subject. I think it's the hardest subject. But is that all you've taught? Is yeah, English right? Yeah, I've only yeah. taught literature, uh, English language arts. Really? Yeah. Do you have a dream to go somewhere else? Like a different school or not different a different subject? subject? Yeah, a different subject. No, no. I feel like that's really my strong suit. Um, through through all the different experiences I had out in life, uh, writing, and um, and what I've read in talking about it with people and the different discussions like in colleges that just it, it, it's like ah there's there's nothing else I could I could teach other stuff but I wouldn't enjoy it. Yeah, what's your favorite? What's some of your favorite things to teach? Like as far as subjects? Yeah, no nah, in in ELA in English, yeah, like um, that you teach in seventh grade. So one of the things that with our curriculum, like uh, towards towards the end or mid of the year, uh, mi- middle to end, uh, we teach about the power of language. And how it can be very dangerous, um, or how it can be very useful, depending on how you use it. Like language, language is a powerful thing. Uh, the wording of maybe the most simple, like like that sticker right there that says "Talk Southern to me," that elicits some sort of reaction out of somebody, and whether it's positive or negative. Whenever I say that phrase, some people are like, "Oh yeah, you know, like let's talk about fishing and hunting some stuff," and some people may be like, "Oh, let's talk about things that are bygones or things that are horrible." It really all depends. Um, and then also, you know, using language to persuade and everything. It, it just I find those those discussions very interesting, and everybody comes to the table with a different opinion. Mm. Especially those kids. I bet you get so many different opinions and yes, and their so, ideas. Yeah, sometimes I get blindsided, and I'm like, whoa, I did not think of that. Uh, that's really cool that you brought that up. And in that, I, I I like to set up a classroom. Uh, discussion to where maybe I'll walk away with something too. Right. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah. So we have that, we have that relationship of like, we're educating one another. I mean, obviously I, I know this stuff and I'm teaching it to you. Yeah. Teach me something new with our discussion. Yeah. We get to get to know you. That's cool that you create like an open, you know, just like an open classroom, open discussion type, you know, mentality, I guess. I really like that. That's cool. Yeah, you know, just totally directing the kids and everything. Actually, making them think—that's pretty. That's cool. Yeah. And that's what counts. And that, and I don't, I don't know if I just if it said if it was said before, but I'm a seventh grade English teacher, and at that age, there some of them are already like, yeah, I'm wide open. This is who I am. And then some of them are a little bit reserved and caged in, uh, which that's not a bad thing. Um, it's just like let's look at ourselves and acknowledge who we are, and then bring that to the table and utilize that. Straight up G right here. Straight up, straight up LeBron emo right here. Yeah, I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even want to rap with him. That, that was all poetic, uh, Thomas. That was all. That was really all poetic, man. And it's crazy. I want to get into this. So, you, you play, the, you play the guitar. You sing. Mm-hmm. And so, does, you know, it's just thing. Maybe you like English so much and poetry. So, you do. I know you do cover. You know, you cover. You know, different artists yeah. and a large, you know, variety of people. But do you write your own music too? Yes, I do. Um, and sometimes, whenever something comes to my mind, like I actually, I got over here and I was like, "Oh crud! I forgot my uh, my little book and my pen." Because uh, I'll think of I'll think of a line or something and write that down. It's like, all right, let's use that for later. Um, and it happens all the time. And for me, like a lot of ideas come when there's total silence. Um, and that happened a lot last year whenever my kids were taking a test and I'd be like oh wait I just thought of this line and I'd go write it down and then I would go back to watching over them it's like all right well I'm gonna let that cool down and come back to it later pick it up and it's either something really cool or it's something that's absolute garbage I'm like yeah that was good at the time not now mm, that's cool yeah that's really yeah that's really neat and like the poetry I could never write a song no <laughs> like I, I could never yeah is it is it more of you know we've talked about this is it more of like you it just it's all there like at one second and you just get rolling with ideas or does it, it, are you one of those that it just takes time to write a piece of a song um it just kind of pops into my head it's like it just slaps me over the back of the head and it's like hey write this down and it's like okay um, and then making it that that can be anywhere from within an hour to weeks, just depending on what the topic is and how I want to approach it. Um, yeah, it just it really it really kind of depends and differs and everything. So. Mm. You got something big coming up this Saturday, right? Yeah, I do. Um, Man. A good buddy of mine, Kevin Holton, uh, he said, hey, I want you to come play at the uh, Headache Hollow Hootenanny. 
uh, at my place. <laughs> okay. and, and I've known Kevin for a while, and, and I was like, yeah, sure thing, man. And so uh, I'm going out there and playing. Uh, we're, we're hoping for a big turnout and everything. Um, and so I'm excited. I actually, I was so excited about it. I went up there this past Friday to sound test my stuff. Um, and I got this little system and everything, and I was just like, all right, like, I'm set. I took a picture of my knobs where they need to be, and I was like, all right, I'm good. And then we just hung out. <laughs> I saw that. Yeah, you talking about what he videoed and everything? and Yeah, yeah. With you on the stage and everything. Yeah. Yeah, yeah man. he's got a neat little stage out there, and he's going to he's gonna put some stuff out so people can sit around and chill out. And man, that's going to be that's gonna be cool. Yeah, I'm yeah. excited for it. And it's not just me. There's, there's going to be other artists up there, too, and they're going to bring – everybody's going to bring a little bit – a little bit something different, and I think that's great because you know there's everybody that's out there is a little bit different. So. Right. What What is mainly your genre that you stick with? Like to stick with? Um, I would say country mostly, but I don't I don't really claim to be a country artist um, or any or anything along those. Like I, I just I'm looking to make good music and whatever that sounds like and wherever people want to stick it, go right ahead. Right. That, yeah. That's just me. Um, it's, it's a really interesting dynamic, I think. I grew up on, like, my dad, he would play country songs whenever we hopped in the truck, and then I would go home and listen to, you know, like, Guns N' Roses and Leonard Skinner, uh, Alice in Chains, Metallica, just all sorts of different stuff. And then one day I might be like, yeah, let me go listen to Prince, you know, <laughs> or something like that. So just a wide variety of stuff, just good music. Yeah. Just overall. <laughs> I'm trying to think. Uh, <laughs> Hang on, no. You like Freebird? Do you ever get asked? Did you ever get asked on the river to play Freebird? Um, I don't think so. Honestly. Really? You never yeah. got asked? No, that's the first thing anybody ever said. Play yeah. Freebird. Free <laughs> yeah, you know. um, What's another one? Are there songs that people ask and you're just like, damn, not this song again? Um, no, because I don't think I have that kind of reputation or anything. Like that. <laughs> so, um, so they're not gonna ask you for like, what is it, Dixieland Delight? And yeah. Yeah, what no, are the other you got songs? Some people out front there, Benji. Oh, okay. Um, no, no, that's What's that's um, like, some. Of, yeah, they're good. Oh, yeah. Dixie, what we got? like I don't the, know the like, Alabama song, Dixie. Yeah, Land like, Dixie Land yeah. Light. No, nothing, nothing really like that. What's the one song uh, they request all the time in Nashville? We were telling us about. Uh, I thought it was Freebird. No, Tennessee whiskey. No, <laughs> it's the Darius Rucker. Oh, wagon wheel. Wagon wagon wheel. wheel. Oh, yeah. I can see you playing that I one. Avoid that you song like you have play. played that. Then. I don't think yes, anybody likes that song anymore. <laughs> it's all for ironic purposes now. I, I, surely, um, just it's just one of those. I'm like, no, it's like the Wonder Wall of country music. <laughs> yes, <Yeah. laughs> I avoid it. Um, one of my buddies, he actually set it up to where like they did like a Battle of the Buckets things. Uh, and the two songs they chose, like, all right, this bucket's for Wonderwall, this bucket's for Wagon Wheel. <laughs> and they're like, if we don't nip with any, any tips and we ain't playing any of them, like, if you pay us up front to not play this song or either of these, then we'll just skip it. And they always end up with cash to be like, please don't. Man, really? <laughs> please don't. Yeah. That's a good idea. That's how our uh, high school raised money uh, for an awareness or something. I don't even know. They used to play Justin Bieber, Baby. Uh -huh. After every period, the bell rang. They would play that song, and you, it was like a dollar. You could only give like a dollar a time, mm -hmm. but it was a dollar. And if we raised so much money, then it was really torture at the time, you know, because <laughs> no one like the whole week, you know, that song played over. Yeah. That we had eight periods, so eight <sighs> times that song came on, over and over and over again. You know what? A song just came to my mind to where I'm like, I only play it at a certain time of year, and um, because I played the song once all the way through. And that's uh, uh, Alice's Restaurant by Arlo Guthrie. I've never, I've never, I don't think I've ever heard that one. That song is about 18 minutes and 30 seconds mm. long. Oh, my gosh, So they're dude. like, play Alice's Restaurant. I'm like, it's not Thanksgiving. Because yeah. <laughs> it's, it's a Thanksgiving song and a crazy one at that. Um, so, you know, people are, people are looking up at me like, you're still playing that one song? I'm like, <laughs> I'm doing it word for word. Yeah, that, I'm that trying to recall. Yeah. Real, I could speed it up, but you're gonna miss the whole story. What's that one song that really gets you going? Just like you know, you love playing the freaking song. Um, there's a couple that are like that. It really depends. Um, to name a few, um, um Mary Jane's Last Dance, um, Tom Petty. The, yeah, yeah, I, I do, song. I do something a little bit different in that, and I really enjoy playing that. Uh, Flower Shops by Ernest and Morgan Wallen, like it, it gets me in a different kind of mood. Um, How Forever Feels by Kenny Chesney. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. yeah. Uh, just like I, it was one of those songs where I was just like, wow, I forgot that I knew this song. Um, which another one of those that I just remembered yesterday was Lips of an Angel by Hinder. 
Oh man, that was a huge song, man. Yeah, I, hate, I never liked Tinder. I, I don't, uh, if you asked me what else they played, I'd be like, I don't, I, I don't just, know, I don't know what to tell you like because that one that's and, it. And that's better little, than me. That's really the only ones that. Come I don't even mind. know that song. Like, I uh, remember "Lips of an Angel" because they played it so much, where I was like, I don't want to hear it anymore. Yeah, they played that song so much, but I, I did like it though. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's really good. <laughs> you know, it's he really got, good. You know, yeah, he's man, got that. He got voice, that yeah, that, crazy that, voice. I'm just like, uh, I kind of, I like it, but I don't. I remember the first time I heard it, I was like, is that the same guy singing? You know, like when he starts to, uh, man. Yeah. Right. Now the better than me, whichever one. Yeah. That's, I never heard that one. The only yeah. one I heard is yeah. "Lips of that's an it. Angel." That's yeah. it. Yeah, that was like his big one. I didn't know they sang other songs. Man, you're making me think of like MySpace, the band. <laughs> that was like, MySpace. That was like twenty. Uh, years. It is confirmed. Oh, that's like twenty am, years ago. I am Tom from MySpace. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> Tom, Tom from MySpace. Tom he from does kind of. Like I'm everybody's friend. I'm I just looking Tom. at you on the video right now. You do kind of. <laughs> you cut the hair. Got, you cut oh, the, it's getting gone tomorrow. Got kind of his, oh, his picture went like that. Like he was looking behind. <laughs> yeah. It's just like yeah. that. Yeah. Like in some classroom too, <laughs> yeah. man. Yeah. It's come full circle. <laughs> I'm back in Didn't the you get some perk if you kept him as your friend? I deleted him. I don't know. <laughs> I don't, can't remember. I remember you had, at first, it was like your top eight friends, and then that just caused a big fuss between everybody, and then they changed it to like 16. Yeah, why, why aren't you my top friend? Yeah. Could, I'm number two. What? Yeah. And then you could change the background to like whatever you wanted, and you could play music. People couldn't. People couldn't take... MySpace, and mm-hmm. that's why they don't have it anymore. Yeah, I think it's still there. Yeah, yeah, it's still it's there. It's like I a music it, platform. Yeah, I think, I think Justin Timberlake, last I knew, it's a couple years ago, Justin Timberlake bought it. I think yeah, he but did. He's, May, he probably he's, already saw it. It's, probably, yeah, it's been through like so a, many hands now. It's been through so he's many not even hands. popular anymore. Like, nobody cares about Justin. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm, I don't know. He, he did that song with Chris Stapleton, and I'm like. Did he? Okay, yeah. I, f- I forget the name of it. I can hear it in my head. Hmm. Like I said, I'm I think I've said. Is it a slower song? Oh, kind of. It's kind of. Kind of mid range, like it's mm-hmm. very soulful. Okay, I think I've heard. I think I've heard that. Yeah. Because there was there was a if I'm not mistaken, and I may have this completely backwards. There was a Justin Timberlake concert uh, where Chris Stapleton guest was a guest, <laughs> and then people that were there to see Justin somehow didn't know anything about Chris Stapleton, and they were like, "That boy with the beard can sing," <laughs> you know, <laughs> and like he can, he can, he can wail it out, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I didn't know Justin Timberlake was a thing still. Nah, I don't. Yeah. Our barber, remember Steve? Yeah. So it was Steve one night, and I hadn't been. He's been all over the world right now, and that's yeah. why I look so fuzzy. <laughs> I know he's been. He's been at Bonnaroo, Lollapalooza. Yeah, he's been all these places. Dave Matthews yeah. up in uh, one was it Boston or something like that. I thought one Friday I was getting my beard trim and everything, and you know I was asking what he was doing that night, and he's like, "Man, I got to go work after this. Still, I got to go back up to Nashville and work." And I'm like. Like, where else do you work at night, you know, cutting hair and everything? He's like, well, I've got to go to Bridgestone and give Chris Stapleton a, a beard trim. Yeah. And I was just <laughs> said it so casual, too. He's like, man, yeah. hey, you know, he's over here just, like, cutting my hair and everything. He's like, man, I gotta, he's like, I'm going to see Chris. He's like, it didn't, no, he didn't say I'm going to go see Chris Stapleton. It was like, i got to give, um, you know, Chris Stapleton a beard trim tonight. And I'm just like, man, you just said that like that wasn't, like, <laughs> yeah. even yeah. a that thing. Was just another like, Monday. Yeah, I was like, this that was really. There's no telling who comes in and out of that shop that nobody realizes who they are. Exactly. That's my thing. Nobody knows, and they come to Lynchburg. He he, li- you know, he lives in Nashville. I, thought, or I think he does. Yeah, yeah, I don't know if he lives in Lynchburg or yeah, not. I don't, I don't think. I thought so. when no. he come on that day, he said he had to drive back to Nashville or something. Yeah, and that was really mm-hmm. that that that's just really cool. Like Chris Stapleton deal and everything. I don't know. Well, yeah, just gonna call him up real quick. Yeah, just but yeah, he was Dave <laughs> Matthews, like personal. I think he, he still is. Yeah, yeah he still. Because he is. was at their concert up in. They come to Nashville. Oh, that's nuts. I don't think that'd be pretty cool. Yeah, that has to be. I like some Dave Matthews now. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, they're good. Yeah, they're a good band. I like them. I like them. I don't know. I'm more of the folk now music camp. I keep going to them every time time they're in Nashville. Excuse me. Every time they're in Nashville, I always try to go to them. But I've never been to Bonnaroo, though. Yeah, neither have I. I didn't go this year. First time I've, first, this is the first year I haven't went in 12, 13 years. They probably had a rock band tent set up. Probably. <laughs> mm. They're like, oh, we were waiting on, yeah, go, on Tyler. Go 
my glory days. I tell you what we haven't done, brother, and I miss doing it, but we're just so busy right now golfing. Yes, I haven't played golf. God, we, you know, so we... I, so when we had Matt Walter on, God, that, Matt Walter was the last sucks. time I was on before, before we oh went, left gosh, for Oh, my gosh, dude, that's like three months ago. Two and a half. Did you have to get COVID? Did you have to get vaccinated for that? Yeah. All y'all? Just me, yeah, me and Kayla. The kids didn't go, which I didn't care. Whatever. Yeah. But, uh, but yeah, I told Matt, I was like, I'm going to play golf like tomorrow. The next day, that never happened. Oh, I haven't man. played golf in like six months. I did buy. I bought a new driver and two and a three wood and five wood. So you ready to go now? Yeah, I bought a tailor made driver and oh, three nice, wood and dude. five wood. So Heck yeah, I'm ready to go shank him in the woods. Thomas, dude, have you ever played golf, man? No, I haven't. Oh, oh man. No, I like yeah, the- dude, we need to take you. We <laughs> we got the perfect course too, brother. Man, I'm, I'm like a <laughs> this- I'm like a professional amateur. <laughs> a professional. <laughs> He's amateur. a professional yeah. amateur. Yeah, dude, if we went to Matt, we would be. Yeah. <laughs> He's what is he, he? What is he? The he was ranked number six or seven in the state of Tennessee for uh, teaching. It's probably better mm. than that now. No, I was about to say it was. It was pretty he, uh, high. It was pretty high. He's up the. There. Uh, it's Indian Hills in Murfreesboro, which is a great course, which I haven't been to in like over a year. Yeah, I used to work out at, uh, at River Bend. I was a lifeguard out there for a couple of years, and so every so often I w- I would be able to tell whenever somebody hit off on the last hole and that ball was coming towards the pool because it was like right in line with the with the uh, last hole and i would just i would have my umbrella out and it would hit my umbrella <laughs> and then land in the pool and it's like all right i saved myself from a concussion <laughs> i'm telling you the hardest part and i never thought it would be is putting putting's the hardest part for i think me. that's what i shine at mostly really yeah what's all i used to put put golf when i was little yeah just yeah. build me up for it Really, I think putt putt is what messes you up when you play. I don't know. I'm pretty good at putting. No, no, I mean no. I come close to a hole in one. No way, for real. I yeah. bet you at what at hole seven. Like you talking about Sandy View? No, no. I'm talking about really? Hills. Me and my buddy Mickey. I think I hit it. It was the first par three, which is like hole one, two, three, five. I think. I was maybe like this far, and I birdied it. I was so excited. Mm, then there was one day we were on the last par three, which is like 16, 15 on that course. It lines up with the road. And usually I shank it to the left, and it goes in the road, and I cause a wreck. Yeah. But this time I hit it, and it dropped. And I thought it dropped on the green, and it rolled into the cup. I was jumping up and down. I was excited. I'm over here looking at the guy who's mowing. I'm like, did you see that? Like, come with me because you're my witness. I like, yeah. get up there, and I'm so excited. I get to the cup. It's not in there. I was like, oh. Like, <laughs> Man. <laughs> and then, Whoa, do you get, like, a free car or something if you hit no, a hole in one? you just get your what? picture taken, and you look uh, cool. Oh, yeah. Uh, and then, so, then <laughs> I walk, <laughs> so then I walk, like, 40 yards off the back of the green, and there it was. I uh, overshot. <laughs> uh, He's like, yeah, that was some shot there, guy. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, look at this loser. And then the next hole, I get up, and I shank it, and I almost hit the guy on the – so, <laughs> no, wait, going from one way to another. I, no I hate when they have that much confidence in you, Thomas. Yeah. Like, you'll know this, dude. So, that, you'll be there. They'll be literally right out there in the field. And I'm yeah, like, dude, you, you don't want to be there. You need to move because I may hit you. So, oh. <laughs> I, got you. I like the uh, Tim's Ford Bear Trace. Beautiful. It's beautiful, beautiful, but I hate the first hole because there's always that old guy. In the that golf cart watching you. Yeah, that And pro. I'm just like, dude, you watch me. and I get, It makes me nervous. I'm going to shank it that way. I'm going to miss the ball completely. Like, it's not going to go straight. Mm. There's a guy at – it's. it must be a state park thing because there's one in Clarksville. Is there? And it's – and there's a – no? Yeah, there was one there. Yeah, but there's another place in Clarksville too. It's not a state park though. But, yeah, there's a pro or whatever, and he watches you tee off. Like, he watch, like you're right here, you know, like you're golfing. And he's standing right where you are, <laughs> like right there. So you're just kind of like, at first I didn't know who this guy was. I was like, mm, is this guy I think just like yes. going after me or like, yeah. what is he doing? And, and then the dude that, but the guy after I hit it and everything gave me really good tips, like short, simple tips, you know, yeah. not a whole lecture. Just like, Hey, you know, keep your eye on the ball. Don't, don't, you know, don't just look at the ball. Look at the swing, you know, like little stuff like that and everything. And I thought that was cool, but I've known people to say yeah. things, what pros will say to yeah. them so on the first, on the and, first uh, hit. Me and Zach and Kayla played at uh, Willowbrook one day and we were on the back nine. And we got up to hole 10, and this guy come up. He just one guy. He goes, hey, guys. He goes, y'all want to play with me? I was like, sure. He goes, yeah, I come here all the time. My my girlfriend lives over here. I was like, oh, okay. So he tees off, which 
decent. I tee off and it goes back the other way. Zach tees off and it goes toward the road. I don't even think Kayla's plants this time. She didn't drink a bottle of wine, so you know. <laughs> <laughs> so we're sitting there and uh, he's just kind of looking at us. He's like, "Okay, I'll give these guys another chance." So the next hole we get up to, I tee off. It's a par three, and I I think I might hit the green, but then it rolls off, which I was like, "I'm okay with that." Then the third hole, I tee off and it hit the hit the house. Almost hit the window, oh, and the guy man. was like, "You know what, guys? I think I'm just gonna go to the next uh, hole." He and just, just left. Leave. He just <laughs> left you guys. <laughs> yeah. oh, he just left. He's like, "I'm just gonna keep going." I was like, "Yeah, that's probably your." <laughs> oh deuces. man, yeah. I hate when people wow. do that. Like, I hate when they lie to you. I wish someone would just tell you, "Hey, I'm, you suck." <laughs> like, that's just you know, I'm really good when they come up to you and play. You know, like they'll see me out there like playing by myself, which that's kind of like a thing. Like yeah. you play by yourself, like that's not you're not supposed to play out there by yourself. You know, it's kind of yeah. looked down. So people will go out there. Hey, you, you know, you want to play? You want to play with me? I'm, you know, I, I'm, I'm not too good. I'm not too good. And I'm like, you know, me. I'm just like, yeah. I'm thinking in my head, yeah, I suck. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm you, awful. Yeah, if you're not that good, I'm not good either. We'll be yeah. pretty good at this. You know, now, we'll have a good time. Now, and then this dude literally is just crushing them, and I'm just kind of like, okay, I don't even want to play. So, I'm like, dude, you just go on because it's gonna take me a while. So when COVID hit, of course, golf was the only thing you could do, besides go walking in the woods. Everything was yeah. closed. So me and my buddy Mickey went and played like three times a week. It started from when COVID, when COVID first started up until that winter. And I got pretty decent. I, I got decent for a while. And we were uh, doing like two-man scrambles, me and him. And we were shooting like two or three over par together. And like I was so excited. And then I just kind of stopped playing. And then it just went downhill. Mm, yeah. They've got one down here, don't they? Don't they have a golf course? R- River Bend. That's the only one I know of. River Bend over. It's it, like on – what we call old Tullahoma Highway. Oh, okay. Is it the country, is it country club? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. So that, that's what you were that's what you were talking about. Though. Right. Yeah. I was a lifeguard out there for a couple of years. So the river's always been your th- like water's always <laughs> been all water's yeah. always been in your DNA. Then I guess. Well, Benji yeah. was you're the Lynchburg's best lifeguard, wasn't you? Uh, like three Lord, years running. Oh no, God. <laughs> yeah, I did the lifeguard thing too. Oh, gotcha. Did you ever have to save people? No, like it was, it was pretty calm. Um, if anything, like I just kind of gave some kids some tips on how to, how to swim and everything. Um, you know, and, and played games with them because they were like, "Hey, we're bored. We don't have anybody to play with." And I was like, "All right, well, as long as I'm in a position to save you, right, I'll play." Right. And see if you're good. I tell people, you see if you're good, you can tell when people are struggling oh, yeah. and about to like yeah. about to start to drown. You know, you can tell. There's a point when you're just yeah. like, ah, they're getting. Mm-hmm. They're getting there. They're getting to that point, and did you, you have, can save it. Did you ever have the kids who just don't listen? Uh, no. That was you, wasn't it? Had all the kids that didn't listen. Yeah, <laughs> all the time. No, they were, they were pretty. They were pretty well behaved. Like there was one time I was like, hey, you know, slow, slow it down a little bit. Um, I remember one kid ended up with a bloody nose. I think it was just like that time of the season, and they were like mm. tilting their head back. I was like, ah, don't do that. Lean forward. I got the Go one. On. Remember the one I told you you to quit running. Over and over again, and I think I set this kid out multiple times, and then he was sliding on the deck, and there was like steps. Was it Lee? No, no, it was. <laughs> oh God, no, it wasn't him. No, this would have been awful if it was him. But this kid slid off, and there was a wooden bench slid slid off the deck, and hit um hit the um hit the bench. The mm. side of the bench, the leg of the bench, and like broke his leg. Oh, yeah, Ooh, yeah. So that was probably one of the, that was the worst outside incident yeah. that I had. Yeah, I had two incidents saving people, but that was it. Speaking of him, Lee, I seen something funny the other day. Oh God, was he? I don't know how it popped up, <laughs> but it was like the mayor race from back. When was it Lee that ran? Man, yes, dude. Yeah. Uh, was it, no, I don't really know. I his, don't remember. I've what met his it brother was. like twice, but I, was it Lee that ran? I can't was it the, which I ever, don't I just, remember. It was just a board that had Huffer on it, and it had votes. Like, huh. like, yeah. like, oh, like, that's the way you're talking about. Like, yeah, like, 30, <laughs> like 35. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. And I just started you. laughing right. when I see if it. I, okay. if, if I could All do right. it, if I could do it, that's what. That's how I would go with my signs because it, it was genius. It no, was, no, this was the mayor sign. Like, it had every. I know. No, this showed, like, the total votes, and it had, like, was it Sloan that won that year? Um. Yeah, I think. Because it had, like. Yeah. Like three other people who had decent amount of votes, and then it had Huffer at the bottom who had like twenty five. Really? <laughs> yeah. No, I just remember his signs, no, I, like the I black. I, they I were black. The it was all black, and it had white font, <laughs> and it said like it just said his name on it. And I huh. thought, man, that's the way to because the colors and everything. Like I just, they all I don't know. Just black is like the I like 
black's the best. <laughs> like somebody had like a green one, and you can't see green for the grass. Like if you put it in a yard yeah. and yeah. all this, and I don't know. I just I'm glad all. I'm pretty that's jealous over. of him though. Really? Yeah, he got the because he's been playing up there in Nashville. At, uh, yeah, I, I talked to Tootsie's him. Yeah, yeah well, I talked to him uh, one. I, I was like a month. It was well, a while he, he ago. just got off the stage with Craig Robertson. Yeah, really. Well, pretty, yeah. pretty jealous about that one. He got yeah. up there and sang uh, "Devil Went Down yeah. to Georgia" with him. Really? Yeah, dude, that's freaking sweet, man. I talked to Andy the next day, and he was like, "Yeah, man, we had the guy from the office get up there," and I was like, "Yeah, I saw." I told you I pulled cool. Lee over. It's been a while ago. Really? Yeah. Oh man, <laughs> shagging from Shelbyville of all places. <laughs> It was, it was like 5.30 in the morning, and uh, he had just come into Tallahoma. I had somebody riding with me. I was like, Dad, come in. Because they're like, oh, this car's speeding. I was like, I just want to go home. It's, <laughs> it's almost 6. We stop, and, it, and it's him. I could hear him up there. And I seen his mullet. I looked in there. I was like, get out of here. <laughs> Man, that's crazy, dude. Yeah, I hadn't spoke to him in a while, but that's cool. I ain't seen him in a while. Yeah, that's cool. I, think yeah, I know Nashville he's in while. Nashville a lot all the time, him and his brother. Mm -hmm. yeah. They'll be down in this neck of the woods uh, for the Sorghum Squeeze in October. And I'll be up there, too. Oh, really, there. for the Sorghum? Yeah. They're well, he, going to they're they're be up there? Yeah. Oh, dude, that's cool. He, yeah. They were so, there last year. So, yeah, so yeah, they've been playing at you know, Tootsie's a lot. What he doesn't know is my wife played at Tootsie's one time. It was her Kayla 21st did? birthday, and she got on stage oh, God. and just started playing oh. with the band. <laughs> <laughs> did they, what, did they kick her out? Yeah, she, yeah, oh, yeah, she got kicked out. Oh, man, yeah. that she, sucks, She got up there and sang, uh, of course, she's going to yell at everybody, it's my 21st birthday. <laughs> well, she got up there, and they, um, first she got up there with the guy and started singing happy birthday to herself. <laughs> <laughs> they saying, was, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, and then, yeah, and then that's were, what I'm talking about. And then they're like, it's probably best if y'all leave. And we're like, dang God. Okay. Mm. I guess we're leaving. Happy birthday to herself. Yeah. Man, what a champ, man. Hopefully she's watching and she hears this story. <laughs> I hope you got a comfortable couch. That's fine. <laughs> no, no, no. We just got a brand new bed. I'm, I'm sleeping on that bed. <laughs> Did you really? Yeah. What kind is it? I don't know, but it's like, it doesn't have to use a box spring. It's like that tall. And then I've got this little... I don't know this uh, bed frame that went with it. That's like that tall, so I gotta hop into the bed now. But I don't know. It's like a, <laughs> it's not memory foam, but it's whatever. I don't mm, know. Man, that's cool. I can just lay there, and it just kind of molds to me for a second. I, don't, I ain't gonna move. Man, you've watched any sports? Ready for football? Do you do the football, dude, Thomas? I've been watching do you do any sports, not man? Really, man, I, I like watching a good game, but I just. Once I really started getting interested in football, I felt like it was kind of too late. I, I had other interests that I was yeah. like, okay, I can get into. So Titans suck. We're gonna, we can't buy a team like like we should. But they're too busy worried about trying to build a new stadium. Yeah, I've heard about that. Which my my thing is, if you have, haven't won a Super Bowl yet, you don't need a new stadium. <laughs> Contrary on Super Bowl, <laughs> you know, we can't. Ryan Tannehill's garbage. Get him out of there. You got rid of our wide receiver to. Uh, Traded a water receiver away. You got one in the first round. You got one in the the first round this year who's hurt. I mean, just. I can't wait for hockey's fun. Yeah, I'm waiting on hockey. You been to a hockey game, Thomas? I, I have not. I've been meaning to go. Oh the man, the best fun you'll ever have. Yeah, no, dude, I, seriously. I um, now the Preds are like really. Their tickets are expensive, but you know Huntsville's not too far away on this side. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You could go you and go watch the Huntsville bucks. Havoc. Yeah, you can go for cheap. You you know I used to. You, I would pay more for parking than I would actually ticket yeah. to the game. Oh wow! We went to one Preds game last year with Zach and Bailey. Really? Yeah, it's been a while since I've been to a Preds game. Yeah, they're expensive now. Oh yeah, I remember you used to. You could go to a Preds game, get four tickets for like fifty bucks. Yeah. Now wow. it's now wow. it's like on a weekday game. If you wait to the day of the game, maybe around two or three, and see if they still have tickets, you can get them pretty cheap. Uh huh. But if you try to you buy them in advance, no. It's, yeah, I think about parking when you have to park up there and yeah. everything, how expensive yeah, it is. So you park at uh, across the street from, uh, was it Demos, Demises or whatever? Yeah, actually, I that know parking what garage, you're talking about. That's the about, best place to yeah. park. Really? Because mm -hmm. you can pull out, get on the I know where you're talking Avenue, about. Right yeah, the yeah I, know where, I know exactly what you're talking about. Um, there's an escape room close to that, I think. 
You ever been to one? Y'all have ever been yeah. to an yeah, escape yeah. I went room? Up, I went up to the escape game during our spring break with a couple other teachers. And oh, really? I oh, took, that's good team building, think, man. Yeah. Um, which only one of them. Was if you is. win, yeah. If you lose, you start blaming everybody. We did, we did the most difficult one. I, I think it was Ooh. the most difficult one. It was called the heist or something like was that. It, it was like a prison break? No. Um, oh, like okay. you had to, oh, the heist. Oh, you, you robbing? Yeah, you had to steal like a picture or something like that. And we had 20 seconds remaining. Like We were sitting there celebrating because we got the picture. And the, and the person was like, you still got to open the door. And I was like, oh. <laughs> oh you still got to, yeah. But we we could have escaped within like five minutes because we were sitting there. And we heard some people talking like they just got done with their game. And they opened up our door and walked in there. And we were like, really? does this mean we win? <laughs> you know? I've done one. And I did it with my daughter. Or my both my daughters. It, J- just you guys? So, no. Kayla, we went to Gatlinburg over uh, spring break with Kayla's dad and uh, Kayla's nephew Noah and then his sister. We went up there with them. Yeah. And um, it was two 12-year-olds, a 5-year-old, and a 7-year-old, and me in an escape room. The Clue escape room. So, we get pretty good into it. And there's just one spot we would have escaped. Well, we escaped anyway, but we would have maybe we might have won. But there's just one part where you had to. There's like four different rooms, and you had to match up colors, and you, they had this little chess piece, and they, they would blink. Hmm. So I'd be like, "All right, Ashley, when it hits blue, you hit this one. No, when it hits green, you hit that one." Madison, when it hit this one, okay. So Madison would just run in there, smack something real quick, then reset oh, it. Man. And we did that for like 10 minutes. So finally, uh, finally, I'm like, y'all just sit down, don't touch anything. <laughs> <laughs> and so I had to go around and individually, and then the game was up. <laughs> Those games are so fun, though, Yeah, man. Yeah, I had a blast. Yeah, yeah. You get some, like, good time in with everybody. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Dude, so you've got – I saw you brought your guitar in, so what kind of guitar do you have? I have a uh, Gallagher. Oh, Gallagher, man. Gallagher um, – a songwriter's edition um like uh, the numbers and letters just escape me right now <laughs> uh, but it's not one of the war trace made gallagher's um it's murfreesboro is made in 20 it was made in 2020 uh actually on my mom's birthday oh so dude that's like, neat I got man to look at it and i was like hey mom look at this and she was like oh that's cool um so yeah they used to make gallagher over in war trace and then um, it got bought and put up into Murfreesboro. In Murfreesboro? Yeah. Oh, dude, man. I didn't even know War Trace had a guitar shop, man. Yeah, man. Shop, man. Uh, back in 1965 is whenever it got established. And uh, um, Doc Watson uh, was one of the biggest advocates for uh, Gallagher. Uh, he had a he had a, a guitar called, I think, uh, I'm going to, I'm messing up names. Uh, I think it was just called Hoss. Like, that was his guitar. Yeah. Um, and if I'm not mistaken, Don... Gallagher, who's still up and kicking today. Um, you know, he's actually come to a couple of my shows, and he signed my guitar. So I, my guitar. Oh it, man, that's I, neat. I call it the yeah, Dawn. That's neat. Um, yeah. Because at first I call it the President, just because I was like, oh, that sounds cool. And then, and then, um, and then I got Don Gallagher to sign it, and I was like, oh, it's the Dawn. That's that's what it's called. Sweet now. dude. Um, yeah. You want to play some songs, man? Oh, uh, I can. We kind of get into that time. Yeah, right? dude. Yeah. Right, yeah, see. we'll get you. Yeah, you can get on, and then me and Tyler will keep going and see. just, yeah, take your time tuning and all oh, that gosh. stuff, man. But. <laughs> I'm just thinking about that picture, dude. Hey, I mean. Dude, you were. Just think, after that picture was taken, it was probably like a Friday. I went I went to the skating ring, you know. <laughs> I'm going to have to put, oh, <laughs> man, the skating ring. Is that in, o- open in Tullahoma now? Yeah. Is it really? Well, I don't really know how it works because, like, it's like a, it's got a bunch of little bounce house things some days on skating rings. I don't really know. I'm talking about the one in Estill. That's the one we, I used to go to. Mm. Oh, are you, I thought they made, like, a, they made that place a uh, the fun, furniture store? Yeah, it's a furniture store now. Okay, yeah, I used to go there. Yeah, my mom worked Not there. much. Oh, yeah, did she really? Mm-hmm. I like that place. I was talking about the one, in the one in Tullahoma, though. Is that one, is yeah, that one up it, and it's going? Like a, it's called or the Daily Fun Spot. It's like a skating ring sometimes. Sometimes it's like a bounce house for kids. They got, like, the blow-up things they put in the middle. I don't, I don't really know. So, like, they used to have it. So, it was skating at first. Yeah, they had a skate park on the side of it. You remember that? Like a small one? At one time? Like on the left side? Yeah. Okay, yeah, I think, yeah. And then they had laser tag. Do you remember that? They still when, have laser tag there. Oh, they do? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, that was so fun, dude. They got laser tag. Um, there's a, have you been to the arcade in Morrison yet? Called the Detention or something like that? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. It's pretty cool. Uh, we take the kids there every now and again. Yeah. It's like a cheap arcade. Like, 
instead of like you know how you go to like Dave and Buster's and all the games like ridiculously expensive. And uh, Morrison, it's all the same. Uh, it's all the same games, but they're like a dollar or fifty cents to play. Yeah, man, I'll tell you how you get by. You go on Wednesday. Wednesday. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm talking about. God, because yeah. the first time we went, it just happened to be on a Wednesday. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So we got lucky. We come back on a Friday or something, and Ridiculous. oh my gosh, I'm like, we don't even have any time. It was off. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we uh, Dave and Buster's but, Wednesday. But go to go the detention. The it's old elementary school, so you can actually eat there. So you eat in the ca- actual cafeteria. They'll bring you your food or whatever. It's pretty cool. Sweet, dude. They got a uh, they got a, go- a couple golf simulators in there. The Trackmans are really cool. Yeah. Um, they got a mini golf and they got laser tag. Dude. Hey, yeah, we can here give him. Yeah, you can have one just, for the. You need one for the guitar and then one for you. I was gonna say I was just gonna see that. I can hear that pretty well. Yeah. You can still hear me pretty well too. Yeah. Yeah. And so. Um, Huh? Because you're down. No, I'm good. No, I'm good. I'm gonna go. So this first one I'm gonna play is actually one of mine. Um, it was whenever I kind of first seriously started songwriting, um, which is about a year ago or a little over a year ago, and um, I was really, I went out to the Lynchburg Music Fest and just tried to get inspired, and I definitely left with some inspiration, and I was just trying to create a song, create a song that I felt like was was decent. And everything and, and so I'm just sitting there um, in my room recording and just recording video after video and I'm like you know I'm trying to work on something it was something about like beer being my friend or something like that some some obscure thing and then I got to thinking I was like well Father's Day is coming up what have I bought for my dad and I was like nothing uh, so I started making so I just started and I like I let the emotions flow and just kind of did a song that was based on that um, and I was like, he's really got it made because, you know, he, he's doing what he loves. He's with who he loves, uh, which is just me, my mom, my little brother. Um, so that's what the song is about. It's called He's Got It Made. Um, let's see. I won't finger pick it because I don't think it'll pick up. Actually, it will. Okay, let's go. Yeah, heck yeah. the same blue collar shirt five days a week when he leaves in the morning he kisses his woman on the cheek and when he gets home he has his boys to welcome him and although he's tired them he would do it all again his hands are callous from working his fingers from playing guitar but he don't play in any old honky tonk bars he plays for the love of his family and that ain't hard Mama loves a country serenade While the boys run around and play Yeah, he's got it made Well, he likes to hunt And he likes to fish too Some things are more important He's got a family now to attend to He set aside his dreams For all the family means His hands are callous from working His fingers from playing guitar But he don't play in on bars He plays for the love of his family and that ain't hard Mama loves a 
country serenade while the boys run around and play yeah he's got it made he may not know it now but he's got it made he may not know now but he's got There we go. So a little something like that. Man, that's awesome, dude. That is super cool, man. So you wrote that for your for Father's Day, then? Yeah, just just around Heck that time. Yeah, man, that's awesome, dude. Yeah. You got yeah. one more? Um, I mean. <laughs> Wagon wheel. <laughs> no, let's see. I was going to say, man, the trademark stuff, that's what kind of scares me. Um, let's see here. Let's see. You know what? I'll, I'll do uh, last Play time. it, dude. Play it. We, you know, we got it. We got it backed up. We got this backed up recorded. So, so there's a um, there's a video from, on Kevin Holton's page of me uh, doing a sound check for last. Yeah, I saw it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now I ain't going to be able to get the echoes and stuff like that. And uh, I'll censor it a little bit, too, so that way we don't get in too much trouble. You're good, dude. She grew up in an Indiana town, had a good-looking mama. Never was around, well she grew up tall and she grew up right with the Minneana boys on the Minneana nights. Well she moved down here about the age of 18, she blew the boys away with more than they seen. I was introduced and we both started grooving She said, I dig you, baby, but I got to keep moving on Keep moving on Last dance of Mary Jane One more time to kill the pain Feel summer creeping in and I'm tired of this town again Now listen I don't know But I've been told never slow down, you never grow old. I'm tired of screwing up, I'm tired of going down, I'm tired of myself, I'm tired of this town. Oh my, my, oh well, yes, honey, put on that party dress. Buy me a drink, sing me a song, take me as I come, cause I can't stay long. Last dance, Mary Jane, one more time to kill the pain. Feel summer creeping in and I'm tired of this town again. Down on Market Square, and she's standing in her underwear, looking out from a hotel room. And nightfall will be coming soon. Oh, my, my, oh, well, yeah, 
dress Honey, put on that party dress It was too cold to cry when I woke up alone I hit the last number and walked to the road Last dance of Mary Jane One more time to kill the pain Summer creeping in and I'm tired of this town again There you go, something like that. Man, there you go, dude. <laughs> yeah. But usually I got a whole bunch of different setups, so I was like, I ain't going to waste no time on the solo. I'm just going to do that little, and then carry on. It's a beautiful guitar, man. Yeah, uh, Gallagher's. There. So the interesting thing about this guitar uh, is that it's a dreadnought. So this specific guitar is made on the same machine that made um, Johnny Cash's. Um, oh, I'm trying to remember all, all the people. But um, Johnny Cash, uh, Waylon Jennings, um, I think Zach Brown's too. Um, so this this guitar sweet. and any of the other guitars that have a dreadnought made a Gallagher, um, they have that. I don't I don't know how to describe it like that bloodline that runs through it. If that makes any sense. Yeah. Like they all come from the same little family. That's man. I didn't know it got that tense. Yeah. That's small. Yeah. That's pretty neat. So you'll be out there Saturday. Right. Correct. Yeah, yeah man. The Saturday. first annual, first one ever. <laughs> Yeah, Kevin's excited. Oh, that. man, you guys all have got to be excited about oh, that. Yeah, That's so freaking cool, dude. Yeah, That's so episodes. freaking cool. So, yeah, dude, we'll definitely wrap this one up, man. We know. I know you got a busy I know you got a busy day tomorrow, busy yeah. week. And <laughs> week two, hey, but you get horse show. That's the thing about teaching in Bedford, Bedford County. County. Yeah. What, you got two more I, weeks? I forgot all about that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then you get a week off, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, the kids are already asking us, like, when's horse show? I'm like, I remember when Kayla, when she, you know, first came over here to yeah, Southside, yeah, yeah, yeah. she was like, "Yeah, we're off for the week of horse show." I'm like, I'm like why? <laughs> like, it's horse kids, show. Can the man. kids still not go to school? Like, I don't understand. No, traffic's crazy. Dude. Yeah. yeah, yeah, man, for real, dude. Mm -hmm. So Thomas Heath, everybody, and see, this, you got your own Instagram, right? You got yeah. your own Instagram. So, Tom, Thomas Heath Music on Instagram and TikTok. If, if you feel like I'm worth listening to. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, yes, or if you're like, I, yeah. I want to see this guy get better, then hopefully that'll be the case. <laughs> Dude, yes. Yeah. Of course, brother. And hey, we thank you so much, Thomas, for coming on, man. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, my man here. Tyler. I'm back. He's back, finally. Guys, yeah. this is the Fuzzy Duck Show. Tyler, send him out, man. <laughs>